step to waste management is segregation. Now, segregation is basically the main step and something that no government or no civic authorities can help you out with that has to happen on the household level and wherein you are basically segregating your wet waste from your dry waste. So your wet waste is kept separate, it is composted. Your dry waste is again looked into, there are stuff that can be reused or recycled. There are stuff that has to be handled properly and there are organizations handling them. Only 10% of your waste gets rejected, has no place to go and can go in the uh, landfill. The landfills are uh, one of the major causes of uh, air pollution, something that Delhi is facing badly these days. Methane is one of the byproducts that come out of uh, landfills because we have put organic waste on top of each other and once there is no oxygen going through, methane is produced. How to manage that 60% of our organic waste that can be turned into uh, compost and how to do that composting? So this here is a khamba from Daily Dump and you can uh, put your organic waste in this every day and turn it into um, manure that can be fed it to your plants. Now the first and the second unit look like this. They do not have a bottom and you start basically with uh, your unit number three or C. We put some dry leaves into this at the bottom you fill it up for about say four inches in this and we assemble the khamba now we put a single sheet of newspaper here we put it on top of the net that is there at the bottom of the khamba and we use our remix powder now this powder is available with daily dump and it's made up of uh, cocoa peach and some good bacteria that has put into it to enhance the process of composting. This is uh, put at the bottom over the uh, newspaper. We just put some a couple of handfuls. Then we take our day's waste and we put it over the remix powder. We again cover this with three, four handfuls of the powder so that it gets covered and the flies can't smell it. So the dry powder prevents any of the smells passing through. So you also cannot uh, smell the uh, rotting waste. Then you use another sheet of newspaper, cover the whole lot up with it and cover it up with the lid. Then comes day two. On day two, we do the same process. We take off the extra sheet of paper on top we put our waste over the remix powder of day before and cover it up again with remix powder and we keep doing it till we fill one of the units. When unit A is full, we just bring that unit in the middle like this and we start the whole process again. Now till the time unit B is being full, this one is getting composted. and. Uh, once you come over this, you'll find that half of it is gone because everything has broken down. It has uh, lost its shape, its color, its everything is looking black and the volume also has gone down. So it was filled to the top, it would have gone mostly by half. Pick it up, we pour in the last container, bottom container. We have an empty container again. We put this in the middle put the a, uh, unit A on top again and start cycle number 3. By the time cycle number 3 would be full, again cycle number uh, B uh, would have uh, become semi-compost and the, uh, the first cycle that's sitting here would become compost. The compost that will start looking like this after a while, ready to be fed to the plants. This is the compost that has come out of the kamba, can be used to nourish your plants you can use it as a top dressing for all your uh, plants um, uh, which are already potted. If you want to pot a new uh, plant, take the ratio of 60% soil and 40% of your compost and you can uh, plant any of your uh, new plants in a pot.
If you do not want to do that, you can always take this to any of the trees nearby your house. You can feed the trees and they will obviously love it or to any of the parks nearby. Uh, you can gift it to the gardener or you can just go and put it in the roots of uh, other plants.